Hi everyone, and welcome back to Artful. Today, I'm going to be taking you through painting and drawing a flower using your inks. You will need your red and yellow Artful inks, a four and a one round Artful paintbrush, an eraser, a pencil, and some heavy stock paper so your paper can absorb some water. To begin with, taking a pencil, draw a large circle and then a smaller circle inside. And then connect the smaller circle to the stem. Draw some curved lines spidering off from the centre of our inner circle. These are going to be our skeletal construction lines for our petals. Now you can draw the outline of the petals in almost a teardrop kind of shape. So I'm drawing slash painting a lily today. And even though it looks like I've drawn six petals, a lily technically only has three. It has three sepals that are the exact same shape, colour and size as the petals. The more you know. And once you're happy with the way that your flower looks, you can rub out those construction lines using an eraser before you add the ink. Before I add my yellow ink, which is going to be the base colour for my flower, I'm priming my paper with a bit of water so I can create this nice ink wash. We've ended up using quite a lot of water here, which is why it's really important that we used a weightier paper stock. And then adding a bit of yellow ink to my brush, you can see how that ink disperses into the water. I always find this bit really satisfying. I'm using the tip of the paintbrush to try and lead that ink to the edges of the petals where the water hasn't carried it, just so my flower gets a nice even covering. Using a bit of red ink, I'm mixing together the yellow and the red to create this nice orange hue. And with that orange ink on my paintbrush, I'm going to charge that ink into the yellow base of the flower whilst it's still wet. Using the tip of the smaller brush, I'm drawing out that orange ink to create the central lines of the petals. I can use that orangey red tone to paint the stem of the flower. As the water on your page slowly dries, I'm using a smaller brush and that orangey red colour to try and paint in these extra details of the flower, including the outline and shadows of the petals and stem. And if you are painting your own horticultural masterpieces at home, I'd love to see them, so please tag me on Instagram at artfulbox. Here you'll see that I'm slowly building up the detail of the flower by working into it with some darker ink. I've added quite a lot of water to the paper, so I'm taking advantage of this slow drying time by adding a bit of a darker red to the centre of the flower. And now I'm just adding that final layer of shadow and detail. I don't want to overwork my composition too much. In fact, a lot of being an artist is knowing when to put down your paintbrush. And once that water and the paper is completely dry, you can paint in some of the more fiddly details, including the starman in the centre of the plant, which is a word I've not said since secondary school biology. And once you finish that, there's our ink flower tutorial pretty much done. This took me around 20 minutes to draw and paint in total. And it was made just using two colours which can be found in the Artful Ink starter box. Leave a comment down below to let me know how you got on painting your flowers. And like and subscribe to our YouTube or visit artful.co.uk to see some of our other tutorials. Thank you very much again for watching and I'll see you again soon with a new video.